I am honored to be working this semester as the acting principal of KIS. It is an extremely important uh, responsibility, to be sure, but it's not a one-person job. Um, it doesn't take place in a vacuum. I work with so many dedicated, passionate teachers, a collegial management team, hard-working operational and support staff, nurturing residential parents, supportive parents and guardians, thoughtful, intelligent students. I don't believe that leadership is about issuing mandates, making sure that everyone's gonna follow them, or always trying to control every situation and every conversation. It's about communicating, and it's about relationships. It's about communicating well and often, and it's also about listening. Listening doesn't mean abdicating responsibility or failing to make tough decisions. Listening is about incorporating others' ideas and talents and energies and forging those into a shared vision. Whatever great things we accomplish this semester, I assure you we will accomplish together. At the end of the day, we all share the same goal, which put simply is to maximize student learning. Student learning begins in the classroom. It begins with high expectations by and for everyone, students and teachers and the rest of us. The wonderful thing at KIS is that we believe that learning happens outside the classroom as well. It happens when we learn directly about a new culture, not from a textbook, but from our roommate or new best friend who happens to be from a different place. It happens on a field trip when we are exposed to the real world, to authentic exp experience, to exciting new places and new people. It happens on the sports field, it happens in the piano block, in an extracurricular club, on a, on a hike, on a social experience outing in the community, in the chapel, on the flag ring, in the dining room, at camp, at dorm devotions, and in the town. Learning grows out of our successes, and it grows out of our failures. It happens when we study, when we work, when we talk, when we play, when we share, when we reflect, when we argue, and as so often happens at Cody, it's been my experience when we make up, ultimately. Granted, it doesn't happen all the time, but a community, a community that is in imbued with the spirit of learning finds that learning is an ongoing process that fills the learner with well-being, with confidence, and a desire to always learn more. Let us continue to be that place. I have a, a brief message for the different groups in the school. Our leaders, our dean and chaplain, our finance director, our executive manager, our coordinators, our department heads, I enjoy working with you. I respect you tremendously. Your level-headedness, your vision, and your dedication are abundantly evident. Keep up the good work. Continue to be blunt. Continue to be truthful. Continue to be visionary. Our administrative staff, our support staff, and our operational staff, and all of the various managers who work so hard in the various departments, you keep us well, or help us get better if we're not. You feed us, you help us travel, you manage and run our offices, you plan our activities, you keep us safe, you keep the campus and the residences clean, you keep the classrooms and the buildings and our homes maintained, you drive us to school and take us back, you make sure that our emotional needs are taken care of, you provide us with internet, you help us enroll in school, you help us find good teachers. You schedule our classes. You make sure that we have books and textbooks. You maintain our website and our archives and issue our records and you share good news about our school. You connect with our alumni and you even help us get into colleges. And you do so much more than that and we often take you for granted. Thank you for your hard work. You keep us up and running and you support learning in so many ways. Thank you. The residential parents. Yes, a round of applause, please. Thank you. Our, 
our residential parents, our assistant dean, everyone involved in residence. We are proud to be a residential school. We have always been a residential school. And you actually have residential parents. You have the most contact time with our students. And that's a very important time. You care, you worry, you cajole, you scold, you nurture, you discipline, you communicate, and you serve the vital role of being parents away from home for our students. You provide the social structure, the home and heart for our students that supports them emotionally and academically. Thank you, residential parents. Teachers, teachers, you make it happen. You are our most important resource and you matter tremendously. Your job is complex, often misunderstood, often underappreciated. Keep your passion for learning intact. Look at learning through the eyes of your students. Be learners yourself. If you are learning and if you are striving and if you are enthusiastic, your students will be the same. Be firm and consistent, be demanding, be supportive, and be intentional. You are professionals, and we value you in the classroom, but we also value your contributions to the school at large. Over the last two years, in conversations with parents, with KIS students, past and present, I am told time and again that what makes us great, what makes our school great, what truly sets us apart from other schools is our teachers. Your impact is boundless, know that. Students, join me in giving your teachers a round of applause as well. <laughs> parents. Parents, you are our partners and we share the same goals. Please know that we welcome your presence here, your involvement, your support, and your feedback. Sending your precious children to us is a great trust. We take it seriously. Parent Week is one of my favorite times at KIS. You are welcome during Parent Week and you are welcome any other time to come and visit us. We know you can't always be here physically, so we will continue to endeavor to communicate with you through our advisors, through our residential parents, through our teachers, through our administrators. Please know that you can communicate with us as well. Thank you for all you do. Parents, let's give it up for parents. Now we get to the heart of it, our students. My wish for each and every one of you is that you realize how capable, how capable you are. You are our world's most valuable resource. Have high expectations of yourself. Have high expectations for each other. Take a moment right now, close your eyes if you want, but now consider what you expect from yourself this semester. Visualize, create a bar, okay? Visualize the level of attainment that you hope to reach. Got it? Okay, now raise that bar. Aim high. We in turn expect great things from you this means that at times we will be strict and we will be firm. It's possible that there will be moments when you might not like us very much. That's okay. Because we do it out of love and out of respect for you as individuals. If we didn't care, we wouldn't go to such great lengths to teach you one of life's most valuable lessons and that is that your actions, the bad ones, but just as importantly the good ones, have consequences. Whatever you do, whatever you do, you get better at. Right? So do well. Work hard. Choose perseverance over procrastination. Practice respect. Endeavor to make good decisions. Choose love. We want the best for you. Your parents want the best for you. You want the best for you. And make it so. Staff, parents, everyone a round of applause for our wonderful students. <laughs> Class of 2014. <laughs> Woo!
This is your final semester at KIS. You will leave the school, but trust me when I tell you from personal experience that KIS will never leave you. <laughs> this semester will be one of the most challenging, perplexing, emotional, impatient, infuriating, epiphany-filled, delightful times of your life. You will be very busy. You will bond ever more tightly, even as you prepare to ultimately go your separate ways as you must. You are a remarkable group of individuals. You have proven your leadership qualities, you have flexed your academic muscles, and you have demonstrated your belief that you can make a difference in this school, this community, and this world. Know this, we care for you. We will listen to you. And we are very, very proud of you. Give it up for the class of 2014. Uh, thank you very much. We'll now have some announcements.